everybody welcome back to the channel well I'm doing this quick video to share a few tips on how to stay warm uh, for the simple reason that I heard that a lot of my friends in the US are coping with some uh, Arctic uh, type of weather uh, pretty extreme uh, apparently most extreme uh, weather since uh, 30 years so here are 10 tips that I want to share with you guys that will hopefully uh, make a little difference right now keep in mind this can be anything from a simple tip to a absolute survival routine right so let's start okay so first of all if you have to then pick one room in the house and make sure that's the room you keep warm right so kind of move your living space to that room uh, don't go with the biggest room in the house don't go with the smallest room either uh, but make sure that's a comfortable room that you have a good temperature to to be in and even maybe sleep in that room okay now um, when you do that and this is tip number two um, cover the windows and depending on whether they are sun facing or not if the windows are sun facing then you would uh, cover them from the inside preferably with something like uh, you know ceramic wrap or plastic or something like that right meaning the sun has the ability to warm the air between the window and the plastic and that will be kind of a heat buffer but you still have the opportunity for that sun to come in now if there's no sun on that window at all during the entire day then uh, board it up or cover it up with like cardboard uh, just to keep out the sun and block the air between the two layers okay all right what else um Okay, so if you uh, have to choose, if you, let's say, it grids down, you don't have any electricity, you don't have any gas or anything like that, choose to heat the person instead of the room. Focus on wearing layers on your uh, person instead of spending all your energy to heat up the entire house, for example, right? It's much more efficient. Uh, anywhere you go, the warmth goes, and uh, just work in layers, okay? Whatever you do, don't wear very tight clothes. No pinching, no uh, squeezing into stuff. That is a guaranteed way to get cold very fast. Alrighty. Okay, what else? Um, if you're looking for something that's an absolute perfect insulator, then use newspapers. Wearing newspapers under your clothing is a great way uh, to keep out wind, right? And therefore retain heat. Now, basically anything that can keep uh, air trapped would work. So if you have, let's say, layered cardboard, uh, you know, there's a reason why homeless people sleep on cardboard because it keeps up the cold, right? So uh, cardboard, uh, I don't know, a bubble wrap, anything that will capture air is a good insulator, okay? So keep that in mind. All right, what else? Okay, and this is more of a drastic measure, but if you have to, right, then uh, try to grease up your extremities. So your ears, your nose, your fingers, your feet. Uh, use anything that's greasy. I mean, you can use butter, you can use baking grease. I mean, worst case scenario, you can use motor oil, right? Anything you can do to keep that cold out. And again, you're not going to sit in your living room next to the furnace rubbing yourself in with motor oil, but if you're in an absolute survival scenario, that is a, a way to go okay now um, this is one that I hear a lot people tend to drink alcohol because they think that will warm you up well actually it does the exact opposite so if you want to avoid cold then do not drink alcohol alcohol will uh, um, uh, open up your veins so it can lose heat faster and that's exactly what you don't want right so skip on the alcohol when it comes to food, okay, so uh, eat a uh, fat food. Now, I'm not talking about fast food, I'm talking about healthy fat food. So fat fish, maybe uh, eel or other types of fish, uh, salmon if you have it, uh, anything like that. Um, if you don't have access to fish, eat, um, I don't know, uh, pork fat, anything that is fat. It will help you to insulate your body basically to withstand the cold in a better way okay now uh, when it comes to eating uh, don't eat huge amounts in one go 
for the simple reason when you uh, had a, when you have a big meal then your body focuses all its energy on uh, digesting that food right and it pulls energy and or heat away from uh, your extremities towards your organs so if you want to stay warmer during the day then try to eat small amounts during the day right so maybe you have small tiny meals maybe 10 15 times a day instead of two or three huge meals during the day okay right let's see what else um if you have to go outside for whatever reason i don't know uh chopping wood or whatever activity you have to do outdoors uh one thing you have to avoid at all costs and that is sweating uh sweating will cool off your body fast so instead of uh, working really, really hard for 30 minutes, it's way better to do the same job in two hours and avoid sweating, all right? So uh, that's something that is really important. Now, um, let's see, when it comes to uh, being prepared, never rely on one single thing. If you have propane gas tank outside and you're like, okay, I'm all set for heat and it freezes, then what, right? So you need to have multiple solutions. Let's say water stops coming out of the faucet. Make sure you got buckets set up inside with water in it just to carry you over for a number of days, right? If you don't have any propane, have some bottles in storage with uh, bioethanol or methane or anything like that you can use as an alternative source, okay? So yeah, that's all I wanted to share in this quick little video. Just a few tips from my friends. Hopefully it's uh, helpful in some way. Uh, be really careful, uh, stay safe, and I hope you guys all make it through okay. All right, see you guys soon. Bye.